Hey everyone, just wanted to uh, welcome you back to my channel. Sorry I'm a little scatterbrained. I was getting ready to record this um, and then I suddenly got a ding on my phone that the Joan Elliott cross stitch kit 12 days of Christmas that I have been waiting on and I put a bid. I was the only bidder and I got sidetracked with a few things and forgot that the time was almost up and I just got a notice that I got outbidded by 50 cents and it went for $12.50 I'm ready to go and cry in my beer I'm so upset right now so I just looked on, on 123 stitch really quick and uh, they have a chart only which is fine um, the DMC floss, if I don't have all of them, I have almost all of it, and it's easy for me to get. And uh, I put that down. Oh, something dinged. I put that down along with my with the uh, bead that it needs, one one color beads, bead pack, and um, the Krennic. And it's about ten dollars more when I was going to pay on eBay so I don't know if I get it or not because I won't do it this year I may hold off but I was going to get it at that price my bid was 12 bucks I got beat by 50 cents yeah I need a drink I'm so upset I know anyhow so I came on here and uh, it's the day after Thanksgiving, and I hope everybody, everybody, I can't even talk right because I'm just like really upset, <laughs> really upset. Oh, breathe, Branch, just breathe. Okay. It's a new day. It's a new dawn, right? So let's get on with it and put that behind us. Somebody is very happy that they just got that great kit for twelve fifty plus shipping for them because they were paying attention but they were sneaky and quiet so my video today now that I'm done with venting is um, my my haul and just a little bit of my whip update I only did one thing and I only did a little bit of it and that was today I haven't worked on it since my last video on either project, my winter scene or hazel up until today, and I haven't even touched hazel. So let's get at it. Um, the first thing I want to show you, this isn't all that came in today, by the way. It's come in over the last couple of weeks, and I was just going to wait till my last couple of things came in, and I'd just show you everything, since it's really not a very big haul. So this is a PDF file. I think the company is Hershiners.com. If I can figure out how to do a link, I'll do it below. I've bought a whole bunch of past issues of cross stitch and needleworks, and they had a sale. And um, I got this PDF file for a little over five dollars. Let me. Oh, there, maybe it just went. I'm sorry. I'm recording this on my. Mac using photo booth because even though my phone is better, oh, that's terrible. Let me enlarge it. Um, my iPhone apparently has um, the black on both sides, and I was trying to avoid that. I hope my head's getting cut off too. There we go. Miss Oso oh Crafty is doing this, I think. Yeah, I think it's her. Whenever I put anything, oh, well, that was my cat. Um, it darkens me up. I look ghostly. Sorry about that. Then I did a one, two, three stitch a while back. I had to put my 12 days of Christmas on there. Yeah, I'm venting again. Um, I got some beads that's beat it up or beat it up it's already in my um, kit that I started 
but this is the needle for it. And then while I was at it, I got the beads that I really just needed to get the beads and that, and so I thought, oh, I'm going to throw something else in since I'm paying shipping. And I started the very first Santa's Village house, Santa's house. I should take it out of the plastic, but to be quite honest with this screen, it's still going to glare. And this here was actually not a haul. I got some of the beads and the butterflies, and then I took it over to my friend's house who does jewelry. And she put this on here. She finished it off. I told her what I wanted. She said, leave it to me. Just leave your stuff and I'll do it. I came back and she had it all done. Isn't that really cute? Rose the lighting. She added a bunch more beads and the tail because I told her I wanted it long. And I was going to buy the rest of the beads. She was I have thousands and thousands. Just leave it with me. I got it. She just tied it off. And she said, if you want it hooked, just let me know. But she thought just tying it would be good. It's not going anywhere. And I will clip this part off. She wanted me to clip whatever I didn't want on. And um, I love it. I don't lose my needles anymore because my table next to my stitching chair I usually have my iPad to watch floss tube, my needles, my thread, my chart, my drink. It's going to be a big one tonight. And a bunch of other things. My, my needles usually get lost. This thing here that I got, I had to order it right away. I'm sure it's probably in a store around here, but I got on Amazon and ordered it quickly. Um, Pam from Pam's, sorry, that's my dog. Pam from Pam's Crafty Corner, I think is what she named it. She showed this in her second to last video, I think. And I love it, and it's a snag and nab it. For those of you who don't know, Boy, that's bad. There we go. Hey, there we go. This end here is pointing like a needle. This end is spiral, kind of like the end of a, 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 a screw. And you take when your thread is sitting up and hasn't laid down nice and flat, and you've already been stitching along, especially a full coverage. My glasses are glaring even. You take this with the pointy needle-like end, there we go, and you put it through the hole where the thread is kind of sitting up, and then you pull, and that little spiral grabs a hold of the thread and pulls it down. I have a few of those on my hazel piece, so I can't wait to use this. This one here I got a few weeks ago on eBay. I paid a little five dollars so seven something with shipping. I call it Christmas Celtic. My husband calls it Christmas Celtic. Who's right? Me or him? Sorry. It's in my baggie. I think Miss Oak So Crafty is doing this too. Yeah. She influences me way too much because she's doing this one. Today I got my order from eBay. I ordered it on Monday evening late and I got it today, even with Thanksgiving. This, sorry, watching my dog, he has arthritis and I have a step down into my family room. Here he is. He's the little guy that Ivan's spirit sent to me after he passed. He was abandoned on the streets and he was rescued and then he ended up in our care. I think Ivan sent him for me and my husband. My, my husband's totally in love with that little guy. So it's the spirit of Christmas. I know Miss Oso Crafty is doing this. Oh, this one's really bad. Yeah. 
so pretty. I can't wait to stitch this one. I think the lovely array did this one. Let's see. The second angel of freedom. I'm going to have to look up the first angel of freedom. The same day I got these, which was today. No, sorry. It was the same day I got the snag nabbit, I think. I got this. Yeah. My very first cross stitch gold. Here we go. Uh, in the mail, I have one. Um, on a PDF form format. So this is the first one I got in the mail and I've been waiting and waiting for it. Sorry, I, my mouse. I've been waiting and waiting for it. I ordered it quite a long time ago and I paid for it. Wasn't getting it, wasn't getting it. Finally, and I know it's coming from the UK. So I gave up waiting and I contacted them and they responded to me so fast. And they sent me a link to um, the um, subscribers account and then they said that they were going to forward it to the United States uh, office because apparently I emailed the UK office and they contacted me the United States the US one and they apologized that I hadn't gotten it and that I that it was paid for and sure enough when I went on to my account it showed it was paid for and they said they're just gonna start me all over and send the newest one and it still took a couple weeks, but I understand that, we're considering where it's coming from. And so I just got it the day before, yeah, the day before Thanksgiving, so on Wednesday. And this one here I've had for a couple weeks. Can't remember. Everybody got it at the same time on my Ultimate Cross Stitch group on Facebook. So pretty excited. This is the newest one for this year. This is the only one I've gotten. And this is also crafty, again bought a bunch of the past ones and there are some things on there that I liked but um, I don't know if I like them enough to go order them and I would love to do a review on this book or show you the, what's in here but I don't know if my computer can do, handle it with the glare I don't know. Um, my husband and I are thinking, or I'm trying to convince him, to get a camera. We don't have a um, camera that does video, or we don't have a um, video recorder, camcorder. That's what I'm thinking of. We don't have those things. So I have my iPad, which is very grainy, photo booth, or my phone gives you um, curtains on both sides so I'm kind of limited on how I can record and I'm not sure if I can take the um, video from my phone put it into my computer upload it onto YouTube and then I get rid of the curtains on both sides I'm not computer savvy so I don't know so I'll go ahead and show you my only one and only whip update if you can see it I think I have to sit back only thing I did he wants me I filled in this my cat sneezing this here I discovered I was missing two rows so I did that and all of this here that's it and I may stitch on this some more. It's kind of late, so I don't want to pull the Hazel Project out because it takes me quite a while. So, <coughs> sorry. Okay. So that's about it. Um, let's see. I guess I could tell you about my rotation. My rotation, when I am doing it, is five days long, Monday through Friday. And I do four projects in a month. So one for each week of the month. Um, I stitch in the evening. I always keep, so I keep four on a go, and then I keep four kitted up. I have a little bit more than four kitted up right now, because I went ahead and kitted up the last two seasons for this, and then I kitted up the last of the blocks oh, for my afghan. 
And I told you I was going to bring my afghan out, and I forgot. My afghan is in the box. It's one of those decorative boxes. Because I decided to put it away, um, the more projects I have out, the less time I'm going to give to uh, Hazel, because I could have brought Hazel out. But instead, I did winter scene, because I was up and down, up and down. And Hazel's one of those I sit down, and i got to give it my full attention. It's a pretty heavy confetti area I'm doing right now which is her face so I gotta sit down and work on her now, I work in a cafeteria at a high school and I had this week off so you'd think I'd get a lot done but I've been so busy just you know and there's times I haven't been feeling very good and just I just didn't get her done so that is my rotation that is my haul um, maybe my next video well, when I show you my updates, I can show you my kits. Because I do have a few things kitted up. Not just not just the uh, winter scene and everything for the Afghan. But some other things. So I'll bring that out. And maybe I'll actually bring out my Afghan <sighs> this time. So just thank you all for watching. I really appreciate um, everyone who has subscribed and anybody else who does. I'm really sorry for the quality of this. I do want to get better. Um, I do want to uh, to get a camera so that I can do a little bit better videos. But I just couldn't wait to get on here and start filming. And that's why my other one was really short. And this one here, it looks like about 23 minutes. So I'm going to head and head off because it's probably going to take a while to upload. Our son is helping us with getting a faster internet than what we have. We thought it was fast until he came over. We found out it's not so fast. And so these videos won't take so long, I hope, to um, upload on here. So um, I will see you next week. I'll be back to work. And I'll be back on to my schedule of stitching. And maybe I will actually get more progress done. I actually get more progress when I'm working than I do when I have all this time. Because I get a bunch of stuff done that I don't normally do on a weekly basis. So I really hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and finishing off this holiday week and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot everyone. Bye.